There is various equipment to be used on different parts of a horse's body. This is a rubber curry comb that is a very useful tool in re removing dirt, old hair, and debris from your horse. It can be used nearly all over the horse's body and should be used in a circular motion. Be careful when using this brush on more tender areas of the face and below the knees and hocks. The metal curry comb is used similarly to the rubber curry comb, however horses tend to be more sensitive to it. Some horses are more sensitive skinned and become irritated by this curry comb. It should not be used on the face or lower legs. The stiff bristle brush should be used after the curry comb to remove the hair and dirt that was loosened by the curry comb. It should be used with short, stiff strokes and can be used all over the horse's body, including the face and lower legs. This brush is also often used on the mane and tail. Tails should be encouraged to grow long and full, therefore combs should not be used. A preferred method is to spray the tail with some type of detangler solution and then use the stiff brush. Conditioners can also be used on the tail to keep it free of tangles. A comb, such as this, is often used on the mane to remove tangles. Care should be taken when using a comb to minimize the pulling of hairs out of the mane. Snarls or large tangles should be worked through and never be cut out of the mane or tail. A hoof pick is used to clean out debris of the horse's hooves. To pick up the front foot, stand side by side with the horse facing the rear. Place the near hand on the horse's shoulder, slide the outside hand down the horse's leg near the fetlock, slide the other hand down the rear cannon and lift the foot up. Once the foot is lifted, cup it with the inside hand as shown. Grasp the hoof pick as demonstrated and clean the foot out from heel to toe, paying particular attention to the frog area. Be sure to remove all debris and check for things such as rocks lodged within the foot. If a horse refused to lift the foot, the rear of the cannon can be pitched to encourage lifting of the foot. When cleaning is finished, gently set the foot down onto the ground. To lift the hind foot, again stand next to the horse facing the rear. Place one hand on the hip, slide the other hand down the rear of the cannon. Pull the foot forward and cup the foot with the inside hand as shown. Use of the hoof pick on the hind foot is done exactly as was done with the front foot working from heel to toe, cleaning out all debris and checking for rocks or things that could have gotten caught within the horse's foot. Once finished, again gently set the horse's foot down onto the ground. Clipping horses should be done routinely to keep them looking well kept. Unless showing, it is not necessary to routinely clip the ears. To clip the muzzle, Balance the horse by placing one hand over the bridge of the nose and gently work the clippers over the horse's muzzle and under the jaw to clip the long hairs. The length of the bridle path is generally found by laying the horse's ears back. It should be clipped close and care should be taken not to clip any more mane or forelock. It is important to understand the individual personality of each horse when working with them to clean their stalls and feed them. Depending on the situation and temperament of the horse, one of three options may be chosen in handling horses while cleaning their stalls. One option is to remove the horse from the stall before cleaning. The horse could be either tied outside the stall or turned out from exercise. Secondly, horses may be tied up in stalls while the cleaning is occurring. This may be less time consuming than removing the horse and turning it out and can be just as safe as the horse cannot escape. The cleaner can easily move the horse around as the stall is being cleaned. A third method is to simply leave the horse loose in the stall. Care must be taken that the horse does not escape out the open door. When cleaning with this option, remember to always be placed between the open stall door and the horse. 
Stalls should typically be cleaned daily. When cleaning, first the piles of manure should be removed with the manure fork. Also, any wet spots should be removed. Lime or some type of drying compound can be applied to the wet spots to aid in drying. The final stage of stall cleaning is to pull the bedding back from the walls and back to the center of the stall. Horses will push the bedding from the center to the walls. Pulling the bedding back to the center allows for good cushion for the horse. Plus, it utilizes the absorbency of the bedding more effectively. When returning a horse to a stall, it is safest to lead the horse all the way into the stall, turn it around, slip the halter off, and then back out of the stall while closing the door so you are fully aware of what the horse is doing. If a person exits the stall in this manner, the horse may follow him out or even turn or even run over the handler. Another often used yet still unsafe method to return a horse to the stall door is to open the door, remove the halter, and simply shoo the horse in as shown here. This can be very dangerous for both the handler and horse. It is a very easy way to get the horse or person injured.